This video is about working the tip and using very close up uh, lens to let you see exactly what's happening because I remember as a youngster I would always want to watch my teacher and it's very hard to get this close. As you can see I'm uh, defining and cleaning up the tip. You can slow this down or rewind it or whatever you want to do. Uh, but this is right in the beginning when you just start working on the reed after the tip is cut and you can see I'm pulling uh, the cane out. It takes a sharp knife and a steady hand to be able to do this. It doesn't take me long to make reeds, of course. It will take you much longer, but you can see what a professional. Now, this side is completely undone, and I am starting from right in the beginning. I Normally, you should measure and uh, put a mark exactly where you want the hump, and you did that in some, one of the other videos at 68 millimeters for the uh, middle of the hump. Um, I've done it so often I don't really measure anymore, but um, uh, you can see how I'm making the uh, the uh, the V or U shape uh, U shape or more of a V and staying away from the center, but not getting too much of the uh, hump to be too great. One of the one of the key problems that uh, youngsters and beginning reed makers they make such a great uh, difference between the hump and the tip. In other words, it looks like the Grand Canyon, and that's when you get that that horrible uh, chirping and squeaking the reed makes. And see what I'm doing? I'm I'm making sure the hump is not too big, so I'm going just behind it, not in the center. I'm staying away from the center uh, of the of the tip, and, but I'm working the entire entire tip right now. I'm staying away from the center and give it a little a little bit of cane in the center of the tip and that gives some darkness and, and also some stability. Uh, your reed, need, reed knife needs to be very sharp as you uh, do all this. A very sharp reed knife is very important. You may need to sharpen it more than once as you are making these reeds. Now I'm working the final last half millimeter. Remember this tip is going to be clipped so it's not your it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look perfect on the very fine part of the tip. It shouldn't look perfect. It needs to, uh, you're going to be cutting it, so it's not a problem. And then I flipped it over. I believe I did. And uh, and I'm uh, making the uh, the V shape or the, or the U, U, uh, moon, half moon shape on the other side. And doing the same thing. It's very imperative that you have two balanced reeds, one on each side to cause uh, to have much freedom in playing when they're imbalanced when you have more cane on one side or if it's higher or lower than the other then that's when you have some resistance it's just not going to play so well so try to make it the same on both sides I realize that's hard to do but that's the way it is to make good reads you need to make sure to uh, fill a basket with uh, reed shavings and uh, when you have that basket filled do it again and maybe you're going to get started good at it all right, I'm still working and bringing this uh, tip down further and further as we go to get it little by little. Don't work too fast. Don't think you have to finish the reed in one sitting. Uh, I do, but you don't have to. And uh, you can come back and take a look at it. Now I'm going to clip the tip, clip that uh, bad part off straight down, and. Um, see what it looks like and crow it a bit later in the light you can see a little bit of what it looks like uh, it's a little you can see the back it's a little difficult to to do the light but you get an idea